Caviar and truffles, oh yes. These might be the most luxurious treats for many decadents around the world. But when it comes to a hearty meal that everyone can relate to, very few foods have the splurge-worthy appeal of a fresh, well-charred sirloin. Steakhouses have known this for decades, and that is why the primed steak is the magnum opus on their menu, the one dish that provides a sense of wealth, even for a fleeting moment, to revel us. Yes, there's something in exquisite about telling the waiter to bring you the filet mignon, accompanied with the house's finest wine. With this fantasy still fresh on our minds, we take a look at the holy grail of steaks, the most coveted beef serving for resplendent millionaires and billionaires around the world. Let's first begin our lip-licking adventure with a few notable mentions. A5 Olive Wagyu Steak $250 When you yearn to dine on the finest beef, there's no doubt that the Wagyu comes to mind. The word, which originates from the Japanese language, literally means Japanese cow in English. Currently, there are about 300 brands of Wagyu, with one of the rarest being olive Wagyu. This particular brand of beef cattle is raised on Shodashima, a small Japanese island famous for its flourishing olive industry. Like all love stories, the premise of this unbountiful bond between the beef enthusiasts and the olive Wagyu takes place in rural Japan. In 2006, one cattle farmer by the name of Masaki Ishii was trying to determine if he could use the byproduct of olive processing as feed for his cows. He began this incredible journey by visiting olive oil makers in the nearby market to collect their peels. Once he gathered a significant amount, he roasted them to sweeten the taste and added different assortments of grain, barley, and rice straw. It was an overnight success. His herd fell in love with it, and it wasn't long before he shared it to the local farmers in the area. Because of the strict inclusion of roasted olives in the cow's diet, olive wagyu steaks are usually marbled with a light yellow fat layer, accompanied by a world-class flavor that is so exquisite it edged out 182 other steaks for the Best Fat Quality Meat Award in the 2017 Wagyu Olympics. It's important to note, however, that olive wagyu is extremely rare. In fact, only 2,200 head of olive wagyu cattle are harvested annually, with only 30% of the meat reserved for exportation. What's more, Japan has only 70 producers of olive wagyu, with the largest producer owning a mere 300 head of cattle. So, don't be surprised that a 16-ounce serving of this steak goes for an astonishing $250. A5 Kobe Strip Steak Average buying price, $350. There's there's no denying that Japan is a specialist when it comes to royal beef. The second steak on our list is Kobe, a distinct beef delight hailing from the prefecture of Hyogo. Locally, Kobe beef is known as Tajimi Gayu, but it was actually named Kobe in honor of the prefecture's capital. To produce an authentic Kobe steak, breeders take their sweet time in providing holistic care to Wagyu cattle. The animals are fed special feeds such as rice straw, grasses, and forage supplemented with assortments such as wheat, bran, and beer to improve digestion. Unlike our Western factory-lined cattle, Wagyu are provided with an extraordinary long grace period for fattening. This explains why their fat layers are so unparalleled in terms of marbling. Once the meat is grilled, your taste buds will be met with a rich, buttery flavor that is uncommon in most beef strains. In fact, Kobe holds the crown as the most richly marbled beef in the world, with decadence searching far and wide just to sample its creamy, fat-filled flavor. Because of the strictness employed in raising Kobe beef cattle, there are about 3,000 heads of cattle harvested annually, and the average 16-ounce steak commands a whopping $350. The 2000 Vintage Côte de Boeuf $3,200 In France, the adage that fine wine is the only thing that gets better with age isn't entirely true. Unbeknownst to many, the vintage Côte de Boeuf also follows a similar pattern. It is without a doubt 
the most expensive steak in the world, served exclusively in the Bougerie Pomade restaurant. So, why is this steak worth such a pretty penny? Well, according to the restaurant owner, Alejandre Pomard, there is a rigorous process involved before the steak lands on the plate of wealthy revelers. To begin with, the breed of cattle from whence the meat is harvested is the Blonde Aquitaine, which rivals the rarity of breeds such as the Kobe or Black Angus. Additionally, it has a history of scarcity. In fact, Pomard claims that there have only been 103 vintage ribs produced from 1998 to 2009. As we stated earlier, there is an intense rearing and harvesting process prior to consumption. Once harvested, these classic beef steaks are stored in a negative cold room, where Pomard employs some of the strictest preservation tactics in the world. During storage, cold air is blown at about 90 miles an hour in a 45 degree Fahrenheit environment. And prior to the harvesting and preservation, the cattle are reared in one of the most stress-free environments, as Pomard believes that stressed animals tend to have a greater build in lactic acid and glycogen levels, which reduces the flavor and tenderness of the sirloin. Pomard has invested a hefty 1 million euros to purchase an abattoir right in his farm, where a maximum of four cows are harvested per week. With such a slow harvest rate, he ensures that stress levels are at a complete minimum. Boasting such professionalism, is no surprise that his 169-year-old butchery still sells high cow caliber vintage beef. So strict is Pomard with the beef that there are only two chefs outside his restaurant who have been allowed to cook the recipe. One is Fabrice Vulina, based at Michelin two-star restaurant Caprice in Hong Kong. And the other is Pierre Negrevian, based at the La Terrace Mirabia in Paris. Pomard prefers his steak to be consumed bloody for clients to truly sample the beef's exquisite tastes. It is best served with wine such as Mousseau, and Saint Aubin Premier Cru. Oh, and also Cote Rocher de Chez Germain, one of my personal favorites. Don't know if I'm saying the name right, though. Regardless, in his own words, Paul Maud assures his clients that all the love and attention we give our animals comes through on the plate when you taste it. And perhaps this is why he's so confident in commanding a staggering $3,200 per serving of the steak. Simply extraordinary. Well, all this talk about steaks is making me hungry. Which one of these impressed you the most? And what kind of food would you like to see me talk about next? If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, and turn on post notifications. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip pip to doodly do.